Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Jeremy and today I will show you how to install and use the IceCap 4 stage RODI system. The IceCap RODI is a four stage reverse osmosis deionization filter system that removes up to 99% of tap water impurities. It is available in four models, the 75, 100, 150, and 200 gallon per day system. The ice cap RODI consists of four filtration stages. The first stage is a sediment pre-filter which efficiently traps small particulate matter and other free-floating debris from your tap water. The second stage is the carbon block pre-filter which removes VOCs and chlorine from your source water. If your city uses chloramines to treat your water, you must use our chloramine reducing pre-filter. Once the water passes through the pre-filters, it makes its way to the reverse osmosis membrane, which is the heart of the filtration system and removes over 98% of inorganic salts, heavy metals, bacteria, and almost all high molecular weight organics. Dial film check membranes are included with all ice cap RODI filters and are notably the very finest producers of filter membranes. If you have either the ice cap 150 or 200 gallon per day models, you'll have two membranes to install. The DI cartridge provides the final polish of water and will remove a vast majority of elements that make its way through the membrane. The deionization resin is a mixed bend media enhanced with color changing capabilities to indicate that the resin may be exhausted. It's suggested that the DI media be replaced when the TDS readout exceeds zero TDS. Each ice cap RODI comes with three different colored three meter lengths of RODI tubing, a utility hose feed adapter, two ball valves, a drain saddle, a universal wrench, and filters. The ice cap RODI system can be mounted to any secure location. Keep in mind that the filtration system will gain a substantial amount of weight when it is full of water. Most of the system's connections consist of quick connect fittings. After the unit has been securely mounted, getting it up and running is quick and easy. To connect the water supply, attach the white feed line to the cold water supply using the included garden hose feed adapter. If your faucet or utility sink does not have a garden hose thread, you can purchase a feed water adapter or faucet coupler from your local hardware store. Install the ball valve in line between the RODI and the feed source to conveniently shut off the water to the system. Next, connect the red waste water line to an installed drain saddle or simply run the waste water line into a drain. To flush the pre-filters, place the blue product water line from your DI into your drain. Slowly open the cold water supply valve and allow the first two chambers to fill. After the 10 minutes of flushing the pre-filters, turn off the water supply. Do not install the DI cartridge at this point and leave the pre-filters in place. Remove the provided membrane from the protective bag and install it into the TF housing located on the top of the RO unit. Be sure the seal located in the cap is in place before installing the cap. Once the membrane is seated, screw the top and reconnect the tubing. After installing the membrane, turn on the feed water once more to flush the water through the membrane for 30 minutes to remove any preservatives before installing the DI filter and producing water. Filling the DI cartridge is easy. Pour in the DI resin and pack it down tightly, as hard as you can. Loose DI will cause the water to channel around the DI, greatly reducing its effectiveness. Put the foam ring back inside the yellow cap and screw it onto the canister. Turn off the water feed to the RO system. Remove the DI canister on the left and place the DI cartridge inside. 
then screw back onto the unit. Relocate the blue product water line to the desired collection source. These RODI units are equipped with pressure valves and will shut down when used with the float valve, which is not included. Open the feed valve to turn on the water supply and check for leaks. Trapped air in the DI cartridge is normal and will not affect the unit's operation. Now your ice cap RODI system is ready to begin making pure water. Water pressure can be increased by adding a booster pump kit to your system to increase the efficiency of your RO membrane. All ice cap four stage RODI systems have manual membrane flush valves conveniently integrated into the pressure restrictors. To extend the life of the membrane, it is advised to flush the membrane one to two minutes before and after each use. Turn the lever on the pressure restrictor valve located near your wastewater discharge to flush the membrane. Return the lever to the upright position when flushing is complete. A properly maintained membrane can last two to three years before needing to be replaced. It is good to routinely replace your sediment and carbon pre-filters every six months to ensure that the carbon block has not exceeded its chlorine capacity and damaged the membrane. Your new ice cap RODI filter should work trouble-free out of the box. If you have difficulties or questions, please contact our support center at support.coralview.com. Our friendly support team is eager to help you with any questions or issues you may have. Well, that's our video for today. If you would like to learn more about the IceCap 4-stage RODI units, including other available features, please head on over to CoralView.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest product reviews and tutorial videos. You can also follow us on Instagram and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash CoralView Aquarium Products.